Hey everyone, uh, this is David. Welcome to part five of making your own scale model bricks. Uh, you are looking at the pressure chamber. Uh, it's been about 24 hours, I think. Uh, I'm just going to take this apart real quick. Um, make sure the compressor's off. And for safety, depression. There we go. And then uh, we've got that depressurized, now I'll depressurize this. It's still, um, it's, it wasn't going on and off all night, so I kept it around between 40 and 60 pounds. And I'm going to open it right now. I'm not going to waste your time watching me do that. And I'll be back in a second. We are back. I just loosened everything up. And I have uh, glasses on besides these. Just in case. Put these over my reading glasses. And uh, let's get this taken care of. Move this and put it up there. And there we go. Feels uh, nice and solid. Let's turn this around here. And um, we're gonna look at this so you, we won't have to take it all apart so we can make another mold if we want. Uh, let's see. Let's take these off. This and this. And this. And then we're gonna break this out. So we can just pop this out. Keep this on camera, sorry about that. And see how we did here. I'm trying to you know, one brick came off, not too bad. So one came off, all the other ones are in there. We got one bubble oh, that's cool no it, it came out pretty nicely a little bit of flashing because it looks like maybe there was a little bit of air underneath some of the uh, bricks but uh, that's okay look at that it's all coming right off and there's a little bit of flash around the outside so there we go a uh, perfect little thing um, we'll come back and uh, we'll start casting these, and also I'll probably uh, pour some more silicone in that thing and make uh, another one of these. We'll see how this turns out first. Then um, we have the mold ready to go. Um, we'll have to put that one piece of uh, that one brick back in. So that is, I would say this is a success. Um, very nice. Let's go in there with a, maybe a fingernail, probably. Yeah, there we go. And these little flash areas are coming right out. And now we have a nice, uh, nice firmness to this mold. It's not too wobbly. It's um, a little bit of flash here and there. But um, I think, yeah, this is overall success. So um, we'll be back and we'll pour some uh, plaster. We'll get the uh, vibrating table out and then go from there. Thanks for joining me. Okay, uh, we are back and uh, I'll show you what the, we're, our setup's gonna be. We have our mold ready to pour in. Um, I have a backup mold, so if there's any extra, this is, I, I believe, like one centimeter, maybe a little more uh, by, these are little cubes. It'll be great to do little uh, buildings with or uh, basing with that too. I got these off of Amazon. I'll probably do another uh, video on that some other time. So we have, uh, this is what we use, Tough Stone. That is the brand name, it's Egyptian cement. Um, it comes in 50 pound bags, but I put it in this little Tupperware thing, a little scoop, a little easier to deal with. It's got fibers in it, you can't really see it here. Maybe when we uh, pull the stuff out, you can see it. I'm gonna darken it with uh, this. This is uh, what everyone uses, these pigment powders. This is a giant, uh, a bottle of it, like a size of a mayonnaise jar. <coughs> Excuse me. 
uh, water to mix. Uh, that'll be our mixing vessels is empty glass, uh, big stick to uh, mix with. And then we got some scrapers to scrape the uh, tops off so they're nice and smooth. And then we have a timer we could use, which I'm probably not going to. Uh, it's probably 17 to 20 minutes to demold this stuff. Uh, then uh, we have also over here a uh, food dehydrator. And I have some stuff in it, but also I put a, a smaller screen. We'll probably show that later on. You can see it right there. It's one of those uh, uh, oil splash screens. I cut a hole bigger in it for the bricks because they would fall through those uh, larger slots. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and here is a shake table I made. Uh, you've probably seen this in previous videos if you've seen them before, if you're a newer uh, subscriber. It's just a couple, uh, it's a big sheet of uh, foam rubber used for like a chair cut in floors. Made like a little tower on it. Made a frame and then um, put my little logo in there and floated some um, two part resin. And there's a massager underneath. I don't know if you can see that under there. And I'll click that bad boy on. Okay, uh, we are back. Uh, sorry about the coffee and that cold thing still kind of getting me. Uh, this is um, H2O and um, dishwasher rinse liquid, uh, the blue stuff, um, something dry or something like that. It's the blue stuff you put in your dishwasher to keep it from spotting. Use that to kind of break the surface temperature, the surface tension of the uh, plaster when it goes into these things. It helps out a lot. So um, let's get to mixing here. Sure, everything's in frame. So we're just gonna do a little bit of water. And then uh, let's get this ready to go. I'm not putting a whole lot of that, and I've got a separate little uh, time depressor ready for that. And we'll go here. Kinda wanna get this up till it doesn't sink anymore. And uh, I think we're almost there. So let's uh, give this a quick stir. Oh, no, it's really close. And it's, it just turns into like a chocolate milk. And that, that kind of fools you. So I'll put that there. Let's get a paper towel going. Get this in there. We'll get some of our uh, pigment in there right now. More than enough. It's probably about a half a teaspoon. And let's throw some. Uh, That's a good, uh, probably medium to dark gray. So that's all we're going to need on the uh, pigments, so we can close that up, we're good, and we can even probably lessen it up a little bit, because <coughs> even if uh, we even want to change it to a paint color, this would be much nicer than a bright white poking through, where there's any bit of a chip. So, yeah, it's really tiny if you think about it. But very shallow, small pieces. So, luckily, we have something to collect the uh, excess plaster in. You can always use this stuff for terrain or basing. <coughs> Excuse me. This will be perfect. 
and you're gonna have to uh, learn to do this by eyeballing. There's recipes for it, but um, you always gotta get a feel for it. And then uh, keep this on a paper plate because these don't have any. This uh, ice tray that we have over here. Let me put that back in frame. So you get all that in frame there. This has its own little lip on there, so this is kind of a cool little self-contained item to cast bricks with. This is not going to be so easy because there's no lip on it, and what you can do is just kind of pour that on there. We use one of our um, scrapers and just kind of play with it on, like spread it kind of like cake frosting a little bit. Slowly get it on there. Take your time. Um, try not to make a total mess. Just kind of scrape, 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 and try to go back and forth over each of the holes. We could have made this a little bit thinner, possibly, but uh, we'll work with it. Diagonal direction over the each shape. So you want to pull any of it out. sit for a second I'm going to start pouring this stuff or pouring the same thing into these. That's a little easier to deal with. still on camera with that. Okay, get this over in camera a little bit more. Let's see, let's move this water. So we have our bricks pretty much going. We're done with this. Toss it. Um, maybe we'll work on this a little bit more. See a couple air bubbles coming up. Kind of working over the sides of it. Make sure you keep a nice angle to your blade. There. It's coming back quite nicely. So then this stuff, it's got that nice lip on it. We just kind of, oops, sorry I wasn't being careful there. We'll get a lot more bricks filled just pulling this pulling this across. This is a little excess. We have all this extra uh, building material to work with to make uh, barrier walls, ruins. Um, there's going to be pieces of here, especially towards the end where we don't have enough material. Keep those. Uh, they'll look like uh, blasted uh, bricks. It'll be uneven. Let's see what portal to the side. Grab a paper towel real quick. Clean this up. So 
I'm going to finish cleaning this up, then I'll throw it on the uh, vibrating table to show how that works. And then we'll end part five here. And then uh, part six, we'll be demolding this stuff, throwing it in the dehydrator, and going from there. Thanks for joining me. So we're here at the shake table, and I'm just going to click it on real quick. Yeah, I don't know if you're seeing the bubbles coming out. They were pretty uh, well set. And I wiped down the sides of the pink mold so I didn't have to leave a paper plate. So uh, I get as much vibration into the mold as possible. So I'll probably let these probably sit here about five minutes. And uh, they are not that exciting to watch. You can see some bubbles coming out on the blue one, but these bigger uh, uh, pieces are. Hopefully they'll pop. That's they're starting to pop already. There's a big giant one right there. Let's see that'll go away in a second. So uh, that's all the excitement there is. I don't know if you saw those or not on camera. But uh, thank you for joining me. We'll see you in part six. And um, that's it.